In foreign news, every country in Europe should be taking the boldest actions possible to try to halt or slow the epidemic of COVID-19 disease caused by the new coronavirus, the World Health Organization's European director said on Tuesday. Speaking at, after an online meeting of health ministry representatives from across the region, Hans Kluge, WHO Regional Director for Europe, said he was very pleased to see Britain stepping up its recommendations for social distancing and urge all countries to work together and learn from each other. Europe is the epicenter of the first pandemic of coronavirus. Every country, with no exceptions, needs to take their boldest actions to stop or slow the virus spread, Kluge said during the online news briefing for media. Britain toughened its approach to the outbreak on Monday with moves to close down social life in the world's fifth largest economy and advice to those over 70 with underlying health problems that should self-isolate. Italy, Spain, France, Germany and others have imposed severe lockdowns. And still on the coronavirus, on the foreign scene, we caught up with Dr. Theophilos Otugo, who spoke on the medical response from the UK. I'm glad to be in your program again to update you on the present UK perspective regarding the coronavirus. As you're probably aware, the situation changes every day as the reported contracted cases and deaths increase. Some news reported death toll has um, risen to 71 and keeps on the increase. We in the UK have now moved um, to the delayed phase of action plan. And the protocol at present is that those people um, who have fever, dry cough, sore throat, should um, self-isolate for seven days. And those within the same household who are asymptomatic should also self-isolate for about um, 14 days. They should adopt the normal hygiene procedure, like using tissue if they cough, sneeze, and disposing them off safely, washing their hands for 20 seconds with soap and the use of sanitizer and so on. Those over 17 years, 70 years old or so, regardless of medical condition, should adopt stringent social distancing of about two meters. And for those who are less than 70 years with underlying medical conditions, such as chronic um, obstructive pulmonary disease, heart and lung disease, um, should also adopt social distances. This also includes immunocompromised patients and um, pregnant um, um, ladies should also follow the advice of um, maintaining social distancing in order to prevent um, the spread of the disease. And we, in the general practice, um, we've um, started adopting telephone um, consultation and also some other procedures um, like, you know, video consults, you know, in order to prevent patients from coming into the surgery. Um, so those are the things uh, we put in place, um, you know, to keep things moving. <clears throat> um, although it's not easy because there are some people who don't have um, access to um, video consults uh, like the elderly patients and uh, we do try and prioritize them and see if they can be seen safely. There is um, a kit we call PPE which is a personal protective equipment. You can wear, you know, it involves wearing an apron putting gloves, you know, and um, face masks and glasses if need be, um, all in order to avoid um, contact, contracting the disease. So in a nutshell, I mean, this is some of the procedures um, that we now have in place. And um, as time goes on, we'll keep on updating you 
if necessary. I hope um, this is useful. Thank you so much.